Hey everyone, Jalal here. I'm a Dubai-based photographer and artist, and I'm the creator and photographer of the Inside Dubai series of street photography books. Today I'll be taking you on a walking tour of some of my favorite spots across the older districts of the city. And whether you're a professional or amateur photographer, or just someone who wants to explore and discover the older side of the city that's away from the glitz and glamour, then this tour is definitely for you. So stop one, which is Biniya Square. It's easily accessible by taxi and metro and witness the crazy mix of identities and cultures that pass through here all day, every day. Stop two. Our next stop is the Knife Souk and Knife Mosque. The official name of the mosque is the Ahmed Majid al Ghur Mosque, which was first built in 1948 and has been restored since. There's loads of shops, restaurants, and street stalls in the area worth checking out. Now for all the photographers out there interested in taking some street portraits during your walk, a little bit of advice. Unless you plan on taking candid shots from a distance, it's always best to approach your interested subject and introduce yourself and ask if you may take the person's photo. When photographing women, a lot do not like to have their photo taken by strangers without permission. Stop three. Our next stop is a lesser known and somewhat hidden women's museum. One of my personal favorite museums in the city because for anyone not familiar with Emirati history and society, the museum offers quite an eye-opening bit of insight into the influence women have had on the development of the country through everything from economics to politics and the arts. And the admission fee is 20 dirhams, but it's definitely well worth it. Stop four. Next stop, we have the most famous souk in the city, the Dubai Gold Souk. An absolute essential visit while in Dubai. Whether you want to buy or sell some gold or not, it's a great place to just get a juice and just wander around and take in the sights. Our next stop is Dubai's first municipality building, which is across the road from the Spice Souk. Entry is free, and there's a continuous screening of a three-minute video about the municipality's role. The balcony has a great vantage point to take in some nice shots of the creek with Bird Dubai in the distance. Stop six. Now we're taking an Abra to get across to Bird Dubai. The Abra is the oldest form of public transportation in the city, and at one dirham a trip, it's also still the cheapest. Before the construction of the Maktoum Bridge in 1963, the Abra was the only way to directly cross the creek without going around it. So our last stop before getting a bite to eat is Hindi Lane, which is home to the city's first official Hindu and Sikh temples that are locally referred to as the Shiva and Krishna Mandir. The temple has been around since the late 50s and is definitely one of the city's hidden gems. Photography is permitted, but it's always best to ask one of the caretakers for permission before snapping away. Our last stop is the one and only Ustadi Iranian restaurant in Bur Dubai. The staff are super friendly, the food is amazing, the restaurant is very popular with the local community. It's been around since the late 70s and even has its own unique collection of random historic memorabilia from the city. Highly recommended. So that's a wrap everyone, I really hope you enjoyed the photo tour today. If you happen to be wandering around the city and come across something you want to share with us, hashtag Real Dubai and Inside Dubai. And be sure to check us out online at Inside Dubai and Street Life DXB.